Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Over the Seas. If you are watching our video for the first time, or if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Yeah, we make a lot of interesting videos, and the, your subscription and comments do motivate us to make better videos. We have been all praises about Taiwan every time we speak, every time we shoot a video, right? But this time we are going to tell you seven reasons why you shouldn't be moving to Taiwan. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. The first point is about earthquakes. A lot of people have asked us about the earthquakes. Like uh, they hear a lot of news about earthquake. Actually, whatever you hear is true, but partially true because the earthquakes that happen here have very less magnitude or less intensity. It is always like three or four scale. It's not too much. And the construction over here is very very strong, so that it can withstand so many earthquakes over the years. Basement and the pillars that they use during the construction are very strong, and not like in other countries that we have seen. They can withstand that, and when the earthquake happens, then there is little, you know, swing. The building just swings a bit like this and just stops. And uh, sometimes you won't even realize that the building is swinging or there is an earthquake unless you read uh, read it. On the news or something like that. If nobody tells you, then sometimes you don't even realize you are just sleeping. An earthquake happens and it just passes. And uh, once in hundred years or something, you get a very severe earthquake. But that may happen anywhere, right? Not just in Taiwan. But if you are still afraid of coming to Taiwan because of earthquakes, you can really consider that part. Think about it. Yeah, then decide. And the second point is the fear of China invading Taiwan. Uh, we have talked to many foreigners that have settled over here, many Indians that have settled over here. We uh, got to know that this ha this fear has been there ever since they have moved to Taiwan, like many many years ago. It have been like uh, 20 years, 30 years. Still, the fear has been there, but. They haven't uh, yet attacked Taiwan, right? It may happen any time. I think no need to worry about that. Yeah, hopefully it will be <laughs> in a peaceful way. Yes. So it may be peaceful takeover or uh, if the peaceful takeover doesn't happen and they don't invade, then good for everyone like Taiwanese, foreigners, everyone, right? We'll be happy over here. We just hope that there is no war. That's all. It is safe for Taiwanese, it is safe for foreigners, foreigners everyone. everyone. Yes. Yeah. We just want to stay happy. Here, the currency is not as much as you would see in other countries. That doesn't mean that the quality of life is not good over here. The currency is just double of Indian rupees. Like uh, you get one uh, Taiwanese dollar for every 2.5 rupees. That is the current price. It's not too much. Uh, if you just save thousand dollars over here, then it will be like 2500 in India or whatever the conversion is back in your country. You can't come to Taiwan if you want to save a lot. If you are thinking like, okay, it's like Canada or it, it's like UK. When you go over there, you just earn for four or five years and you have enough money to settle when you go back to your country. But it's not like that in Taiwan. It's like the quality of life is improved definitely, but then you have to earn for much longer period if you want to save and also when you um, come here the living expenses are so much the cost of living is so much when we compare it to india at least you will definitely get more money uh, when you move to canada or us or some other countries but uh, the cost of living is also very high over there when you compare to taiwan the currency will be uh, less the cost of living is also be you can say okay -ish. yeah okay -ish. We have yeah. to at least spend 50,000 NTD over here for all the rent, expenses and um, food, travel, everything included, utility bills, everything included it would cost us around 50,000 NTD. Whatever you save apart from that will be like your savings. Uh, we are very sure that you will be saving a little compared to other countries but the quality of life is very very good. So you should consider Taiwan for that. If you want to save a lot of money then it's not the right place. Yeah. If you want to improve your quality of life definitely you should come here. It's the best place. You might have heard a lot of people, a lot of foreigners who go to other countries like Canada, US. You might have heard them that after a few years of working over there, they 
easily buy a house right the mortgage rate is very less and the down payment is very less they somehow manage to buy a house over there and they settle over there but in taiwan it's really difficult to buy a house because you have to pay 20% of the down payment that is the, like the lowest down payment you can ever pay uh, in taiwan and uh, also the prices of the houses are very very high and uh, you have to find a house which is like very old if you want to really uh, get budget friendly houses and then renovate them which again will cost you a lot of money and um, small apartment or small flat will cost you millions millions of dollars many foreigners who work here who have established businesses still don't buy a house over here the next one is desi fields you might have heard from people who move to canada or any other country that there are a lot of indians over there they celebrate a lot of festivals together they have so many get togethers they, they have so many parties you might have heard a lot right they have a lot of indian friends and such but in taiwan there are lesser number of indians there may be like 5000 or 5000 to 6000 6000 yeah that's all that is the number of indians we have in taiwan and uh, foreigners are also lesser when compared to other countries but yeah there are a lot of foreigners when compared to the indians um there are no such get togethers at least in taichung there are very few parties like only diwali party or something that is celebrated in uh, that taichung that is for the first time yeah that is for the first time that's all like there are no get togethers there are no festivals nothing as such in taichung at least in taipei yes there are a lot of indians and yeah. most of the events are in taipei, taipei yeah. yeah if you want to go to the event you have to travel, travel two and a half hours yeah two and a half hours and uh, it's expensive to get there and then you have to buy the ticket over there like it's overall very expensive there are also no temples over here like you know as indians uh, many people go to temples and all for praying and many countries have temples for them right in taiwan there are no temples also because there are fewer indians so there are nothing of that sort they have their own temples like taoist temples uh, they also have ganesha they also pray to ganesha in few temples and coming to the next point it's not a free country as you might have heard like yeah taiwan is a free country or many people confuse it with thailand it's not and, thailand yeah it's not free with china also yeah confuse it with china it's not the same it's also not a free country when i say this it totally depends on the perspective so for me it's a very free country because i'm safe here i feel really happy and i can eat whatever i want i can wear whatever i want there are no restrictions i can go anywhere i want at any time i'm safe i think for a lot of women they will feel that taiwan is really really safe but also it's very strict regarding its rules because in many countries there are a uh, few things which are very common like you might have seen petty crimes like you know uh, harassment on public transport or sending cringy messages or uh, passing negative comments on someone or uh, cat calling and these are all petty crimes right very small things may be ignored in many parts of the world they might not be considered as a big thing but here it's really a big thing if you do any of these just once you will be out of your job just like this so don't come here if you are interested in doing all these things please don't come here when you are in another country then you are representing your whole country in that like i am representing whole india here so if i do anything wrong and few more indians do something wrong then they'll be thinking that okay taiwan is might feel that okay all indians are like this please don't do anything wrong over here because it represents the whole indians and yes. it represents the foreigners when whenever something bad happens then don't let them think that okay foreigners are like this or indians are like this so if you are interested in any of these things please don't come here and the next point is culture and language difference as you might know every country has different culture right but in taiwan it's completely different from other western countries uh like china hong kong japan south korea and singapore might have little similarities between their culture with taiwan but the people from other countries will feel a huge difference in culture and also language uh, because back in india we have all the documents everything in english even though there are many states and there are many local languages still we have everything every document in english but here every document is in chinese even the tax papers the offer letters everything everything is in chinese the work permit that you have to apply visas everything is in chinese so 
if you are not ready to learn a new language then maybe it's not the right place for you and also uh, we also don't speak chinese much but we at least try to learn few things like when we are speaking with taiwanese we try to learn a few words we generally try to include such things in our daily conversation it's like that and also but if you learn chinese it will be more advantage for you to survive in taiwan so even if you don't know chinese already you can come here take a course there are many facilities where you can learn chinese this is a bonus point for you guys the last one kids school fees is really expensive in taiwan if you are interested to bring your family uh, to taiwan this is what you must definitely consider if you want to settle here if you are okay with your kids studying in chinese medium then it's less you know the fees is very less compared so you just, to the international school yeah so you just pay the nominal fee and you are good to go yes. but if you uh, want your kid to study in english medium and then study chinese as a language then you have to pay lots of money it is at least 25000 ntd per month so it's really very high amount that you pay for your kids education that is something that you should consider before moving here that might stop you from coming to taiwan although raising kids is expensive all around the world but you know this is something that you must consider because if you have kids they need to study and you have to pay the fees there is another option like many of the indians and many of the foreigners try this way if they want to stay in taiwan for, for a very long, long yeah. time they first um, make the kids go to an international school for one or two years when they uh, learn chinese when they interact with other people speaking in chinese then they pick up very fast and then you can shift your kid to the municipal schools or the chinese medium schools that is less expensive that is another option that you might consider if you want to stay here for long or if you want to shift to any chinese speaking country or if you want your children to learn chinese, chinese language so we have listed all the reasons that might stop you from coming to taiwan do consider these reasons before moving to taiwan or before thinking about moving to taiwan because moving to a new country is really expensive and you don't want to waste your time and effort and, and even money, money yeah. to shift to a new country and then you realize that this country is not for you and then you have to go back it's really expensive so please consider these even though these reasons are still there still we feel that uh, taiwan is really good country take an informative decision if you want to come here or not these points are our point of view so you need to research and make a plan thanks for watching this video if you still haven't subscribed do subscribe please press the bell icon because 86% of our viewers are non subscribers so yes. please subscribe it will really motivate us to make better videos for you guys and if you want us to make videos on any topic anything in taiwan or anything in general do let us know in the comment section below we'll definitely reply to you if you have some queries you can definitely uh, ask us in the comment section below or you can ping us on instagram or facebook, facebook. we'll definitely try to reply to you guys keep watching our videos please like share and comment thank you so much bye bye, bye, -bye.